What is good everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video today, ladies and gentlemen. We have a brand new video for you guys now. If you guys did not notice this morning, we were supposed to have another day of WWE action figure reveals. They were supposed to post the new gallery up to WWE.com, but there was a confusion where they were supposed to post the Decade of Dominance Elites today. That was supposed to be the reveals today, but yesterday they accidentally posted them to WWE.com a day early. Therefore, there was nothing to post today, but we are still getting something in the morning. So look out for some more reveals in the morning we're going to have one more day of reveals from san diego comic-con so that is why we did not have any reveals this morning if you guys were were curious about that there was a little bit of confusion or a mix-up or something like that at least that's what i heard and then it was confirmed later on in the day so we do not have any reveals at least that i know of if there's any in the next few hours or something before we get to monday then i will definitely let you guys know about it but at this moment there are no new reveals or anything like that but uh today guys i have a new video idea that i actually got from g natty huge shout out to g Natty for this video. I think he posted this today actually talking about his pick fed and talking about GCW and the figures that you know the new figures that he's excited to get for his pick fed and so that made me decide you know what Brad I want to do that too. I want to run through some of the new figures that are coming out that I am excited to use for the pick fed and I know you guys are going to be wondering where's Vindication 16? It is coming. I know it dude. I just I can't even every time I sit down I, I literally get some get some filming done get some things stepped towards finishing and then we just get set back a little bit or I get interrupted or I get something so I am working on it it is coming soon I mean just hold tight that's all I can really say is just hold tight it's coming it will be here very soon and it'll be worth it just like Hell's Gate just like every other pick fed episode it will be worth it once it is here and then we will be on a roll all it takes is that first episode man once we get that first one done they roll off so we will get that done and I'm hoping to get you know two done per month once we get it rolling so hopefully that will be the case but let's dive into these new figures that I am excited to use for the pick fed moving forward guys let's start off with the absolute ones these are ones that i'm absolutely getting and going to use in the pick fed so let's go ahead and start off guys i have to start off with orange cassidy now orange cassidy was not shown off at comic con necessarily it was just revealed by wicked cool toys jazz wears jeremy padauer and uh, he revealed it on his twitter he talked about the accessories we're going to get this thing looks beautiful you guys know that orange cassidy did surprise us and show up make his debut if you will he hasn't debuted in the ring but he did make his first appearance in mdt at at Hell's Gate, and I have to get this. This is going to absolutely replace my custom Mattel WWE Elite Orange Cassidy, and I cannot wait to do that. He is a part of the Vindication roster, so Orange Cassidy is an absolute must. He is definitely going to be a part of the pick fed. Now, another guy that is also going to be a part of the pick fed is Roman Reigns. Now, for this one, the new top, uh, what is this, the Elite 79 Roman Reigns, I think. This one is not going to necessarily be the whole figure because I love my pick fed Roman Reigns, the one I use for MDT, the MDT Champion. Probably just going to use the gauntlets. I love the new gauntlet mode for this, so I'm probably going to use that in some capacity. <laughs> Almost vomited. But I'm absolutely going to be using the gauntlets from this new Roman Reigns to put onto some fix up something because you know you guys know that the the gauntlets used to be painted on well now they are actually a mold now i know they used to be molded back in the past then they switched to paint it on now they're back to a mold and i would like to use the molded gauntlets so i will be using these for my roman reigns moving forward and that's what i'm definitely going to be doing there next up is ultimate edition edge this is going to replace edge on mdt live i just love the look and uh you know it's supposed to be a current day edge we don't have a current day edge so this will fill in that void well, uh, maybe we'll use the WrestleMania 22 version, but for now, it is the Ultimate Edition Edge. I will definitely use this. I'm probably going to get a few of these just to customize some, switch some parts around, maybe put an Elite Torso on the Ultimate Edition and kind of see what I can do with that. Maybe I can make interchangeable or double-jointed arms on that guy. I don't know. We'll just have to find out, but Ultimate Edition Edge is definitely on my list as well, and I cannot wait to play around with this figure, entrance coat, and all like that. Next up is the Viking Raiders. Now, this is something I definitely want to do. I want to add to the tag team division on MDT Live and Vindication, and I'm not sure exactly where the Viking Raiders are going to land, but I can tell you that they will be a part of the pick fed because I want to add more tag teams. I feel like some of the tag team depth isn't as deep, especially on MDT Live. There's not a ton of tag teams. There's maybe four, so I'd like to add to the depth of the tag teams on MDT Live there with the Viking Raiders, and those figures look so awesome. You definitely have to plug those in, but another guy that's going to get updated for the pick fed is going to be the Elite 78 Randy Orton, and I do believe that people are getting their Elite 78, so hopefully my will be in this week and we can do those reviews and we can put up Elite 78 Randy Orton for you and uh, get the reviews up for that. So Elite 78 Randy Orton will also be updated in the pick fed. I like this attire. I think it'd be pretty cool. I know I haven't switched out the Randy Orton that I use in the pick fed because I love the all black attire, 
but I'll definitely be using this for either a, you know, a pay-per-view or a different attire or, or maybe customize this head sculpt because I'm not really feeling the head sculpt, but I am going to use it for some reason. I'm going to I'm gonna find a way to use this guy, so that is one for sure. Next up, speaking of Elite 78, guys, we have Elite 78 Kofi Kingston, but all together, we're talking about the New Day, the full New Day set. We have not seen the New Day in a while. I think, like... It's been since probably the Royal Rumble that we saw Kofi Kingston, so I think that Kofi and the whole New Day are going to be updated. They don't get shown a lot on MDT Live. You know, they kind of got left behind in the tag team division. They were the first tag team champions ever, but since then, they really haven't done much, but I do want to replace those. I like the the way these figures look. They look beautiful, so I am going to want to use these in the pick fed for some reason, and uh, we're going to update our New Day figures. Speaking of which, in Elite Series 80, guys, the extreme champion Kevin Owens, I mean, we got to make a fix up Kevin Owens. I know I always do custom attires and stuff, which will not change, but I definitely want my KO to have the tattoos, and I'm going to have to update this guy, and I don't know how I'm going to do it. Maybe a left lower arm switch for the, the live tattoo or the evil tattoo on his left forearm. I got to switch that out because it's way too big on the new Elite. So I'm going to fix that up. We're going to customize one of the head sculpts. And I am excited to get the Extreme Champion Kevin Owens in here to switch him out. Get him in there. Replace him in the pick fed. That will be a big deal for me. Another guy that we are going to add in there to update is going to be John Morrison. Now I'm not going to talk about the brand new John Morrison. What a fix up that I'm thinking about doing is putting the new Elite John Morrison that we're going to be getting soon and putting that head sculpt onto the Survivor Series Elite with the classic like gold and maroonish color. I think that would be a really cool fix up. So I'm probably going to grab a couple of these each, uh, you know, to do a head swap to do some different fix ups with John Morrison. See what he looks like with the Elite Four on there. Uh, just do a bunch of part switching and stuff like that. You guys know how we do the action figure surgery, so we're definitely going to be doing that and uh, updating our John Morrison figure. And another thing I wanted to say is Action Figure Surgery Episode 50. I'm still waiting on some stuff to come in. I want the episode to be really big. I want it to at least be probably 50 minutes long because I want it to be, you know, the biggest episode ever and doing a lot of ish on Action Figure Surgery Episode 50. And after that, we will continue with our regular episodes and stuff. So that is something else we got to do because I miss doing surgery, man. We got to get some surgery videos back in here. But uh, a few more here, guys. Another tag team I want to add to the pick pad is going to be the Street Profits. The Street Profits are one of my favorite tag teams in WWE. I love Montez Ford. Uh, I honestly wish this head sculpt was a little better. I just don't like how his eyes are squinted. I just don't feel like it screams Montez Ford. Like, I don't feel like on TV he looks like that a lot, even if he does want the smoke. I still like, uh, I, I feel like a wide open head sculpt would have been much better for that. So Montez Ford and the Street Profits, Angelo Dawkins, all of them will be coming to MDT. Let me know if you want to see them on Vindication or MDT Live. I think they'll fit in wherever the hell they want. But not only that, guys, we have a couple more Vindication guys that I want to update here. And that is going to start off with Kane. Now, I like either version here, whether it be the Red Mask version or the other version. I, I like both. You know, I think both fit in perfectly. Uh, we're going to get some more uh, story with him and Braun Strowman going into Vindication, maybe. So, we'll see what comes of that. But I like both of these canes. I'd be I'd be welcome to use either of them in the pick fed. Probably the Mask version would probably fit best. But I like the, uh, the Survivor Series cane. Looks beautiful. We'll do some fix-ups with it. And he'll look great up next to Braun. And finally, guys, I went with the Survivor Series Samoa Joe. Uh, he's got the Vindication Blue on, right? He's got the Vindication Blue. He looks great. I think the Samoa Joe could be a figure that, you know, maybe he could contend for the revolutionary title now that it's vacated. Uh, he, he hasn't been seen in MDT a while. He was, he was going after the Iron Man title for a little bit kind of got out of that, and now uh, he's kind of just lost in the shuffle. So we'll see what Samoa Joe can do, but I definitely want to update the Joe and put him in there as well. And we also have some honorable mentions, not uh, you know not confirmed or anything, but definitely on my mind. So these could come up later on in storyline. These could come up later in the, in the pick fed timeline or something like that. Who the hell knows? You know, things can change on a dime at any given moment. So uh, the, the rest of the figures that I would say here that are honorable mentions, I'm going to go Keith Lee. The Fiend, Undisputed Era, Kyle O'Reilly, and Bobby Fish. We have Ricochet, Matt Riddle, R-Truth, the new Adam Cole, the new Seth Rollins, and then, of course, we have the AEW Pac. So all of those, all of those figures are definitely in the honorable mentions. They could possibly join the pick fed. They could be seen somewhere. Who the hell knows, man? You never know what's going to happen in MDT. I know Ricochet... He was on that uh, voters list that did lose to Buddy Murphy on the vote, the fan vote, to challenge Kevin Owens. So uh, who knows? Maybe he'll show up someday. But that is pretty much all I have for you guys today. Another huge shout-out to Gene Addy for the video idea because I did see where he posted that, and I did want to give a shout-out to him for that. But
But thank you guys so very much for watching. That is going to do it. If there's any other guys you'd like to see in the pick fake, guys, please let me know down in the comment section below. I would really appreciate it. But thank you guys so very much for watching. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. Subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.